Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Vikas Savans Academy. In this video, we are going to start daily current affairs of 8th June 2023. But before starting this session, if you have not subscribed our channel, then subscribe it and press the bell icon for further notifications. So let's start with the first news. Aaj ki hamari first news hai, newly appointed new Director General of Geological Survey of India. So, Janadhan Prasad has been appointed as the new Director General of the Geological Survey of India for the 174-year-old institution. So, Janadhan Prasad replaced Dr. S. Raju, who has been the Director General since 2020, and attached office to the Ministry of Mines, that is Geological Survey of India, has its headquarters with six regional officers, that is in Lucknow, Jaipur, Nagpur, Hyderabad, Shillong and Kolkata. So now move on to the next news. India, which has been declared as the world's second largest producer of crude steel. According to the Union Minister of Steel and Civil Aviation, Sri Jyotiraditya Sindhya of India has scaled up from fourth largest producer of crude steel in 2014 to 15 to the second largest producer of crude steel in 2022 to 23 which is just after china which is the largest exporter of crude steel in the world so india has recorded a claim of 42 percent in crude oil crude steel production from 88.98 metric ton in 2014 to 126.26 metric ton in 2022 to 23. Next news mein hai, gold medal winner gold medal winner at Asian U20 that means under 20 athletics championship. So by scoring 7003 points, India's Sunil Kumar clinched gold medal in men's decathlon at the Asian Under 20 Athletics Championships in Yacheon, South Korea. So apart from Sunil's performance, Pooja clinched women's high jump silver medal after finishing with a 1.82 meter jump. Bushra Khan secured silver in women's 3000 meter race and India secured bronze with a time of 45.36 seconds. So now move on to the next news, Nand Baba Milk Mission Scheme that has been launched by the UP government. So, Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, that is Yogi Adityanath, has launched this Nand Baba Milk Mission with a worth of rupees 1000 crore. With the objective to boost milk production and empower milk producers to sell their milk to dairy cooperative societies at fair prices. Iske baad hamari next news mein hai, monthly pension of rupees 10,000 for Padma awardees from Haryana. So, recently, this Chief Minister of Haryana, that is Manohar Lal Khattar, has proclaimed a monthly pension of rupees 10,000 and a free travel facility in the Volvo bus service of the state government for Padma Shri, Padma Bhushan, and Padma Vibhushan awardees, and that too from Haryana state itself, and that too with the objective to provide various welfare services to make life easier for the people of the state. Iskibal Hamari next news mein hai, free bus travel that is Shakti scheme for women launched by Karnataka government. It has also been directed to the directed the women to apply for Shakti smart cars to reward the free travel facility in the state run buses starting from June 11. So the government has already delivered a set of rules and regulations on the Shakti scheme, which is one of the major Poll promises by the Congress Party in Karnataka. Iske baad hamari next news mein hai, obituary of award-winning DD anchor Gitanjali Ayer, one of India's first English female news presenters on national broadcaster Doordarshan, that is Gitanjali Ayer, has recently passed away. Iske baad hamari next news mein hai, India successfully test-fired new generation ballistic missile Agni Prime. So, in order to enhance India's defense capabilities, 
the DRDO, that is the Defense Research and Development Organization, successfully lead the maiden pre-induction night launch of the new generation ballistic missile that is Agni Prime. So here's a test. It has been conducted at the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Island of the coast of Orissa. Iske baad hamari next news mein hai. Newly launched I'm Adyar Adyar is me campaign which is launched by Federal Bank which is a unique campaign in Chennai with the aim to celebrate the rich culture and stories of the local community by altering an entire bank branch into a museum of local stories portraying the struggles of tombs of individuals who make Adyar special with vibrant paintings decorating the walls and an exclusive exhibition featuring 40 compelling stories. Iske baad hamari next news mein hai World Accreditation Day 2023 what is observed every year on June 9th 2023 as World Accreditation Day that is World 2023 which is a global step by International Laboratory Accreditation Corporation and International Accreditation Forum with the objective to endorse the value of accreditation and the theme of World Accreditation Day 2023 is Accreditation supporting the, the supporting the future of global trade. So ye the aaj ka 8 June 2023 ke current affairs. So that's all for today. Thank you.